Hi, Ed here from Waterway Guide Media. If you haven't downloaded the Waterway Guide app yet, you're missing a great opportunity to download all the information Waterway Guide has to offer to make your boating more enjoyable and safe. Let me show you how it works. When you download the app from the App Store, you will see this home screen. Along the bottom is the Home button, the Library button, Marinas and Services, a Search button, and ultimately a Map button. Let's go back to the Home button. We'll start there. At the Home screen, which is where you should go anytime you have any question about where you are inside the app, you can start with these basic five menu items along the bottom. Notice that there's a Profile button at the top which you should fill out with all of the information you have associated with your account, including your vessel. It will help in the search criteria and in some of the other functionality of the app. Let's start with the library. When I touch the library button, it will always revert back to the book that I had open last. If you notice across the top, I have a cancel button, which allows me to go back to where I was. I can go back to home from here or to the library button. When I touch library, I also have a store button, which means those are all of the titles that are available in the App Store or at waterwayguide.com for purchase, except for the Skipper's Handbook, which is free at the top. Then I have another menu item that says My Books. These are the books that I have currently in my library. Since I work here, I have all of the books. But if I were back at the store level and I decided to open a book, I will get a preview of that book and then ultimately prompt you to purchase. But let's go to one of my books. If I want to open the Atlantic ICW book, I simply touch it, and you'll notice that it's segmented by sections. So if I'm going from Beaufort, North Carolina to McClellanville, South Carolina, there are two chapters. When I touch chapter six, I now have subchapters, and it allows me to drill down to where exactly I want to go. So let's say that I want to go to Southport, now the content is open inside of the app for all of the information that you're used to having in a typical waterway guide publication. Lots of text, lots of links in the text, which I'll show you in a moment, and the ability to change the text size by simply using the small a and large a at the top. If I want to bookmark that text, I simply touch the ribbon on the right. That has now downloaded that content to my phone or to my mobile device. Now, let's go through the text for a moment. I see something that has blue text in it, which means that it's hyperlinked. I touch Old Baldy, and I'm taken to a website of the Old Baldy Foundation. We linked out to this foundation because we think it would give you some information that you may be interested in. I simply touch the back button at the top. The back button always works, and it takes me back. Now, let's say that I'm interested in looking at Southport Marina. Notice that the blue text means that it's hyperlinked. I simply touch Southport Marina and now I have all sorts of details about that facility. Fuel, costs, all the details associated with my visit there. If I am interested in seeing any comments and reviews, I simply touch the comments button and there are reviews from various folks who have stopped in and given it star ratings as well as their comments. If I want to look at Southport Marina on the map, I simply touch the binoculars and it opens inside the map. I can then zoom in on it. I can also open the map button and look at it in street view or look at it in satellite view. And by simply touching that button again, close that. I can also touch the eye and get the same information. And this is what I really like. If I'm on my mobile device, a telephone or an iPad with telephone enabled, I can simply touch the button and call the marina from here. Go to the back button, go to the back button at the top, and I'm back into the content. That's how it's displayed, that's the information that's available. If I want to look specifically for marinas and services, I can touch the marinas button. It will show all marinas, those within 10 miles of me. I happen to be in Deltaville, Virginia, so these are the marinas around me within 10 miles. I can look at the map and the marinas are displayed in this area by simply pinching and zooming. Once again, street view. If I see that Fishing Bay Marina is one that I'm interested in, I can simply touch Fishing Bay, look at the information, comments, look at it on a map again, aerial view, satellite view, or street view. Go to the back button, 
go to the back button, and I start all over again. The map functionality is very robust. You can use a two-finger swipe up to give you a bird's eye view of marinas, anchorages, navigation alerts, and other information, and bridges, locks, service facilities. Two-finger swipe down takes it back to overhead view. Go back to the home button, and you're back where you started. See how the library is laid out and understand that in addition, we have collections of books for specific areas that you may be traveling. The Intracoastal Waterway, here's all the books you need for the Intracoastal. The Great Loop, the islands that we currently have in our collection, Florida Keys, Bahamas, and Cuba, and boater resources, which include all other titles that you may find interesting for your travels. This is Ed Tillett for Waterway Guide. Hope to see you on the water.